It's match day with Nottingham Forest, today's opponents. And whilst we're waiting for this evening's later kickoff, we're here with our weekly club news update. And we'll start with a recap of last Saturday's 2-0 victory over Norwich City. Two late goals for the Bluebirds secured the three points at Carrow Road. Kenneth and Junior scoring those vital goals to ensure City's return to second spot in the league. There was on-the-road success for the academy under-18s too. They beat Crew Alexandra 3-1 thanks to a goal from Sean Spence and a brace for Isaac Davis. On Sunday the 15th of April, the women's team were in FAW Cup final action at Cardiff City Stadium facing Swansea City Ladies. And despite a hard-fought battle, it wasn't meant to be as the Bluebirds suffered a 2-1 defeat. On Monday the 16th of April, the under-23s took a share in the spoils when they drew one apiece with Barnsley. Next up for them is Nottingham Forest at Cardiff City Stadium on Monday the 23rd. The club announced its partnership with video captioning platform Dotsub on Monday, which will localise video content in Mandarin for the emerging Chinese football market and UK-based Mandarin-speaking supporters. Also on Monday, Junior Hoylet was named in the EFL Team of the Week. On Tuesday the 17th of April, the Academy Under-18 celebrated another win after beating Barnsley 3-0. Dan Griffiths, Isaac Davis and Sam Bowen all getting on the score sheet for City. Also on Tuesday, Cardiff City Foundation released their 2017 annual review. Pick up your copy from the stadium to read about their success stories and the good work of the club's official charity. On Wednesday the 18th, we congratulated Sol Bamba, who was named as part of the PFA Championship Team of the Season. And Cardiff City Futsal 18 did well on Wednesday to beat Exeter 5-1 at the House of Sport. On Thursday the 19th of April, the club announced that away tickets for our fixture against Derby have sold out, with over 1,750 sold for Hull. Ref Six visited the training ground this week to meet with Neil Etheridge. They tested his knowledge of the game with a short quiz, which you can catch in full soon on iFollow. And finally, for Thursday, the gaffer took part in a Q&A at Penadaran Park to assist in fundraising for Merthyr Town FC. It was another highly successful event with over 150 people turning up to show their support. And finally, today is the Foundation's 5th Annual Foundation Day, with lots of activations going on around the stadium. Foundation Day is dedicated to celebrating the success of its beneficiaries, and there'll be a bucket collection outside the ground this evening, so please bring along any loose change to show your support of their hard work.